Developing in an I-Team investigation, more insight tonight into the troubles plaguing residents at the preserve at St. Nicholas condo complex. Yeah, many tell News for Jackson they're outraged about the living conditions. New images into our newsroom show some of the mold residents have complained of in their apartments. And that's on top of uncollected trash and waist-high grass infested with snakes. Investigator Eric Avigny joining us live from the complex. So Eric, so you telling us that you found out what led up to neglect of the property. Yes, I did. In fact, I learned today uh, that a court that this uh, condominium complex was in such dire condition that a court appointed attorney was called in to help the condo association pay down a massive debt, a debt that prevented trash from being picked up and nearly led to both electricity and water being turned off. We've heard the complaints from preserved condominium complex renters who rent from private owners. It's all mold and it smells like mold. He has allergies from mold in the apartment. It's terrible. I mean, it's just going down. It's becoming more and more dangerous. Jacksonville code enforcement found 64 code violations during a two day visit. Conditions were so dire at one point that residents came close to losing water and electricity after already losing trash pickup services. Patrick Krakowski is now the court appointed receiver to the property. He says he found up to $100,000 of condo association debt to various service providers like JEA and waste management. We jumped on that right away. Um, had made some payments to JEA to keep the water on. Uh, recently made some payments to waste management to get the, the dumpsters emptied. Krakowski says waste management was just paid nearly nine grand and JEA close to $40,000. But there are also other services needed here. We're having to prioritize who we can pay right now because the association has very little money in its account. Well, what was and that so, money going? Uh, it looks like it was just going to um, various management companies that um, were collecting the rents on behalf of their owners. Around 3.30 Friday afternoon, I went to the management office to ask about the payments. Once again, no one is here to answer the door. And then I learned why. Really the issue with the management company on site is they haven't been getting paid either. Now the renters here have begun getting this letter from the attorneys. I'm gonna read it off. It says, until further notice, do not send rent to your landlord or the property manager. Uh, that's because those payments must now go to the law firm that is in charge of paying down the debt. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.